Sometimes in life, there are these times where you don't know what to do next. You have no clue what the next step should be in your life with that person, without that person, with that job. If you decide not to take that job that you love because you feel safe, you feel secure, you feel like you have something that's so great, you'd have to be an idiot to let it go. You don't know the next step because what if you make the wrong decision? What if things down that path don't work out and you end up losing three years of your life? Or you marry the wrong person and you look back 20 years later thinking, why did I ever do that? Maybe it's you know that out there somewhere is the passion or the dream, but for some reason you've talked yourself out of it. For some reason you've said, yeah, I mean, I've got a great job now, but I don't think that's going to work. Like, look what all I have. I've got all this around me, a great place, a great job, all this opportunity. That might not even work out. Yeah, it's my passion, but I don't know. Just what if it doesn't work? Then what? And you're standing there at the edge of this abyss in your life. You're not sure if this is the right thing, if it's the right time, nothing feels right internally, you don't know what is the next logical step to reach your goals. And so you're met with this kind of cosmic irony. Where's the sign, God? Where's the sign of what I'm supposed to do next? Where is the, <laughs> the arrow pointing here that says, this is what you're supposed to be doing, this is not what you're supposed to be doing. Where is it, God? I'm looking for it, and it's not here. It's in those times where you have to decide to be the brave person because you're stepping off the path into the darkness and you don't know what's going to happen. And you don't know because there is no guarantee that things are going to work out the way you want them to work out. You know, sometimes that abyss is at a relationship crossroads where you're either wondering, if I get out of this relationship and if it ends, am I going to be able to sustain myself and live on my own, like emotionally? Can I make it on my own? Because what I have here is great or it's good, but am I going to be able to find something else if I leave this relationship? And that feeling of fear, of anxiety, of not knowing what's out there, even though here is maybe it's okay or maybe something's not quite right about it. And so that fear of not being clear on the next step comes in. And then we make that choice, the bargain with the devil. You choose to stay with the devil you know versus the devil you don't. And even though it's not exactly what we want or something feels a little off or it's not really the thing that we want more than anything, it's easy to stay because we're scared. And again, if I step into that dark forest, I don't know what's in that. There's tigers, there's pythons, there's poisonous snakes. Why would I step into that when I've, what I've got is pretty good. It's not the most inspiring dream, but it's pretty good. Those are the times where you have to be brave. Commit, take that first step into the darkness. And committing means never looking back. You know, sometimes that crossroads is that you're at the career crossroads in your life and you don't know what you really are passionate about, but you know it sure as hell is not this job you're in. And you don't know what is the road, what is the path to get to where I want to be. I don't even know where I want to be. I don't even know what my dream even is in the first place. And so why would I give up this good cushy job when I don't even know where I'm going? I know it's not here where I want to be, it's definitely not here, but I've got the whole world in front of me, so what do I do? It's in those moments where you have to decide to be the bravest version of you, and you have to commit. And you tell yourself, I don't know what it is that I want, but I know it's not this. So I'm gonna put on my big girl, big boy panties, and I'm gonna figure it out. Because my, I know there's something out there that I love to do for work other than this. So I'm gonna commit. And if it means quitting my job now or quitting it in three years, I'm gonna to commit to the process until I get there. 
of finding the work I love and I feel like I was born to do. I'm gonna keep going until that happens. And if that doesn't happen, I'll fight and push my whole damn life until I find it. And maybe the relationship crossroads you're in is the commitment crossroads where you're scared as hell because you saw your parents get divorced or you're 35 and you're not yet married and you've seen all your friends or half your friends get divorced by 35 married and divorced and you're like (laughs) kind of scared i mean that that might be me it might be but that is the definition of being a brave person The warrior is the person who charges into battle even though they equally want to piss themselves, but yet they still get up and they fight. It's the coward who caves to that fear and gives into it. Everyone feels the fear. Everyone feels the uncertainty. Everyone feels the, I don't know, I'm standing at the edge of the abyss. Maybe my life is going to implode and end when this relationship ends, when I quit my job, when I book that trip to that far off country. Maybe my life will end when I jump into this abyss. Or maybe on the other edge of the abyss is paradise. And that is the truth. Because you don't know. And that's the definition of bravery. And that's the exact quality that any person needs to live out that most epic and exciting version of themselves and their life. Because no person that's ever done that or not done that before can possibly know if you've never done this before you can't possibly know what's there but it's in these moments you have to remind yourself to always make the brave decision and not the one that's comfortable and cushy right now because when you make that brave decision your life is going to be such an explosion of awesomeness of fulfillment of success of happiness it'll be everything you've ever wanted will come and find you, but only the day where you decide you're going to start living the brave life and not the easy one.